Plane stars Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter and is, in fact, about a plane. A pilot finds himself caught in a war zone after he's forced to land his commercial aircraft during a terrible storm. He was also transporting a convict, played by Mike Coulter, on that flight. And now the two of them, as well as a bunch of passengers, are forced to try and survive. And before we get into the rest of the review, I do want to give a special thank you to the sponsor for this video, PUBG Mobile. The martial arts master Bruce Lee will join the action in PUBG Mobile version 2.4's Martial Showdown. You must accept the fact that there's no help but self-help. Okay, that's a pretty cool review. PUBG Mobile is one of the world's most popular mobile games, and they're excited to announce a partnership with the Bruce Lee family company to bring the international icon and one of the most influential mixed martial artists of the 20th century to PUBG Mobile. Those moves are actually surprisingly swift. I mean, like, uh, if you've watched a lot of Bruce Lee's movies, you kind of pay attention to the way he moves, and that's pretty faithful. From January 10th, a unique collection of in-game outfits and other items will be available for a limited time, like the Bruce Lee Kung Fu Soul Set, the Melee Expert Set, and Mr. Kung Fu Set, along with mini cosmetic skins for vehicles, parachutes, as well as Bruce Lee-themed emotes. That link is in the description below if you'd like to download it and check it out. Thank you so much to them for sponsoring this video. Let's get back to the review. Look, I'm going to say something, and it's like, it's crazy, okay? <laughs> I, I think I really like January when it comes to movies. I do. I, I don't know what it is, but it's so unpredictable, okay? If you tell me that the summer is going to have a bunch of really cool big movies. I'm like, yeah, well, I know. That's how it always goes. If you tell me that Christmas is going to have another influx of big movies and family entertainment, I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's what happens. You cannot predict January. January is a wild card. Megan proved that. The first week of January, horror movie with some comedy involved, and it was really good. But then you get your random Liam Neeson action films or Split, even. And suddenly January becomes unpredictable. And I really like it. I like that I can go to a theater in January and be like, this could be the worst movie I have ever seen in my life. Or it could just be a really fun time. But also another thing that Hollywood has been doing lately is they're kind of just putting movies in January that are just about escapism. Just about going to the theater and having fun. They're not as well made as movies like Top Gun Maverick. But they're still about that and only that. And that is exactly the movie that Plane is. Gerard Butler is really good in this movie, and I mean that genuinely. I think he's great in these kinds of movies. He's perfect for them. And he really does put a lot of effort into the stunts and into the emotion. There's one fight scene that's simulated one take, I believe. It seemed like there were some hidden cuts in there. And he's getting his head pushed back against a desk, and the stunt actor has his hand all through his mouth and eyes, and it was like, you're really out there, Gerard Butler. <laughs> good job, man. He's, he's damn good in this movie. And this film, at its core, is essentially Air Force One meets Behind Enemy Lines. Far smaller budget than those films, I would say. Definitely far smaller than Air Force One, which I would really like to make a video about Air Force One. I really think that's an underrated film. I have a lot to say about that movie, actually. I didn't think they were able to crack another structure for Behind Enemy Lines, and they kind of did here, in the idea that you've got a pilot who has a slightly violent past with an altercation with a former passenger who attacked him, and so you see that he's got some, I don't know about rage issues, but he has the ability to take a guy down. And of course, Mike Coulter's character, as a convict who's being transported, has a very dark past. And you throw these two literally in a jungle, as well as a bunch of hostages. This is like an instant cell kind of screenplay scenario. No, this is not a perfect movie. It is kind of directed a bit haphazardly. There's a lot of shaky things going on, and it doesn't really feel like there's a vision. It does kind of feel like uh, Paul Greengrass style light. It's just uh, mostly handheld, you know, like a Michael Mann style. And it doesn't always work. But when it does, it really works. And there are some very intense sequences that are surprisingly white-knuckled, including the initial crash landing 
as well as many sequences involving the hostages, as well as many sequences involving the group of men that they run into on the island. And as soon as you realize what's going on with those guys, it actually gets surprisingly dark and very violent. The movie is very bloody, and there are some moments that actually took me by surprise. So there's a lot that I like here. It's a 90s style action movie combined with two action films I've always sort of enjoyed. Behind Enemy Lines is a very, very cheesy movie. And Air Force One has its moments too, but God, do I love that movie. And it's also rated R, and it's just a violent action movie coming out in January. And this is one of those sort of surprises. By no means is this movie going to break any records, and it's it's got nothing to say about its politics, and it's certainly 100% is not going to wow anybody. But from the audience members in my theater that routinely clapped and shouted whenever something cool happened, I think people will really enjoy the film if they go to see it. And for my money, it's the kind of film I really like to watch every once in a while. A movie that knows exactly what it is. I'm not going to say the word mindless because I don't really, I don't really give that word too much attention anymore. I think that even films that most people might call mindless had a lot of thought put into them, and I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I think the structure of the movie works really well from a screenplay standpoint. There will be pilots who watch this movie who scoff at everything, and that's fine. What works about the movie is Gerard Butler and Mike Coulter. They have great chemistry together. Uh, the action scenes are very violent, and I love that. And I felt legitimately tense from the first thunderstorm that takes the plane down all the way through. You know, there were moments where it kind of had lulls. They cut back to people on the ground trying to figure things out, very much like Air Force One and Glenn Close as the vice president. And I didn't think those sequences had the urgency that the sequences in the jungle did. But for a movie called Plane, you get exactly what you paid for. I do think this is a really fun January movie. And so far, this January is good. And I would like to continue seeing good January movies. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. Look forward to more videos very soon. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.